Hey everyone and welcome back to my vlog. I am Melon and on my last vlog, I have enumerated the benefits of having a YouTube channel for your business. You see, I'm the CEO of the Melrose Studio and we at the Melrose Studio would like to tell stories through images and videos. And we have created this series of video marketing tips for small and medium business owners and for those who are starting up a business or for people who just want to start their own video marketing company. So I hope the information that we have researched for you will benefit you. So if my last vlog has encouraged you and has convinced you that it's time for you to start your own YouTube channel for your business or just for entertainment for your benefit, you might now be planning or thinking what should be your first video or your next video. But then you're asking yourself, what kind of video should you be making? Well, let me help you with that today. So what is a good video? So we are on day 25 or day 26 of our enhanced community quarantine here in Dubai. So we are locked down, we're staying at home to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And I am making the most of my time by researching and gathering as much information as we can to create a course or create videos to help you create the right videos for your business. So we did some research and we've put some info together and we tried to answer the question, what is a good video? There are three C's that we should be considering. The first one is conversations, the next one is connections, and finally, conversion. It's a friendlier term for the sales funnel, which I'll be discussing on my next video. So the first question you need to ask before you start shooting a video is your why. What is the purpose of this video? What is my call to action? So when you're starting your channel, you just don't want to have views on your channel. You also want pe people to subscribe to it even on your social media, you, you just don't want people to like your posts. You want people to follow you and you want to get shares, likes, comments. And you want all this because according to studies, consumers who engage with brands, like if they follow brands or if they like the, the posts of that brand, it means that they are more likely to be loyal to that brand and they are more likely to spend 40% more than the average customer who doesn't follow your brand? So how do you turn views into loyal and buying customers? You don't want to just have views on your video. You want to have conversations with your customers. So that is how you will create loyal engagement. The first thing for you to have conversation is for you to ask a question. Like, what do you want to see in my next video? Any suggestions? You can put it on my comment below. You also throw these questions to engage your customers and to start conversations when you post questions on your IG stories or Facebook stories to encourage your customers to answer questions for you and to for you to engage with them, communicate with them. In YouTube and in your videos, it's practically the same. The reason you want to have your channel is where you so you can put all your videos all your playlists to get in the channel and for your clients to know where to find you and for your consumer to follow you. So when you ask that question in your video, type it also in the description in your, for your YouTube video. Only the first few sentences of your description appear in your YouTube description when they click your video. And they have to click actually see more for them to see the rest of your description or the rest of your text. I actually revised mine last time. Ask questions that are open-ended. Encourage your viewers to comment, to reply to your questions. And when they do comment or when they do send their questions, reply to them within 24 hours. Maybe if you have a ton of replies, then you try to reply at least to the first 20, first 10 comments in your feed. What you can do to create conversation is for you to put all your related videos together in a playlist. In that way, you're feeding your viewers related videos so they can continually watch your videos in succession. Like. For me, I'll be, I'll be putting these videos about video marketing in a playlist so you can watch them continually if you play that playlist all together. Connections. Of course, you want your viewers to turn into subscribers. So when someone follows you or subscribes to you, they get notified whenever you share a new video and you post a new post. And that's what you want. You want, them, you want to have loyalty, you want them to follow you, and you want them to be updated with your new releases, new videos. And how do you do that? Well, you can suddenly say, like for me, I can tell you like right now, maybe <laughs> you can click the subscribe button down below if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber. Or you can put that small logo, which I did previously in the, in, in the beginning of this video, and I'm gonna put it here again. So you, 
you will be reminded to subscribe to my channel or to follow me on Instagram. But nothing beats giving value by sharing valuable information on your video to gain subscribers. You can remind your viewers to subscribe, but if you're not giving value to them, they will not subscribe to your channel. Consistency is also the key. I'm very bad at this because as you can see, I haven't posted a video for a while, but your followers or your subscribers would want to see a video. Like if you say you're posting a video every weekday on this day, they would look forward to, for you to post that video. So consistency and value is the key. The third C for you to create loyalty and for you to create that following and for you to turn your viewers to subscribers and then to customers is conversion. If you're a business, this is your ultimate goal for your viewers to be customers. Do you have an online store or do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to download your app or do you want them to book your service? like us or maybe just want them to subscribe to your newsletters so you can feed them the latest offers and the latest launches then your link to your website or the link to book your service or the link to download your app should be down in the description also for customers to easily go to your website or for them to buy whatever you're selling a way for you to do this also is not just to add your link on the description but for or you to also put cards in youtube adding cards on your youtube at the end of the video or you can put cards all across your video like the one appearing up there and once they click that card they will be taken to that link that you want them to click that is my three c's for you to consider when creating good video for your business c is for conversations c for connections and c for conversion because at the end of the day, you want a video for you to be able to sell your product, sell your service, or for you to get your future customer. For you to achieve these three C's, it's very important for you to sit down and create a plan for your video. Ask yourself, what is your CTA? What's my call to action? Is this video for me to get conversations, for me to connect with my client, or for me to convert them finally? Or maybe you can put all three in one of your videos. First, con communicate with them, have a conversation with them, then you can you can ask them to connect with you by asking them to subscribe and telling them that you have more videos to come and finally you can convert them by telling them that they can click the link down below in your description like for us if you need help in making those videos you can connect with us send us an email at hello at melrush.com or you can book a complimentary consultation with us so we can help you plan your next video because it's also critical for you to create a video that meets the expectations or meets the interests and likes of your target audience so like for example if you're targeting the younger demographic then your video should be upbeat interesting colorful and lively and of course if you're targeting the moms then you should be sharing a lot of you know things moms will be able to relate to otherwise if you're creating something that your target audience doesn't relate to it will be very boring for them so again if you like this video hit the like button below please subscribe to my channel and please subscribe to the Melrose studio channel follow me on instagram for some of the artworks because i'm sharing some of the artworks there i'm doing a daily drawing challenge and i hope to see you in my next video thank you bye